Welcome back to my channel. If you can't tell by the title of the video, your girl got a new vlog camera and I'm so excited. I'm gonna do a full review on it. I've been researching this camera for like quite some time, like since I heard about it and low key, like since I just needed a video on it. So yeah, and I'm really excited. Like I'm so stoked for this camera. I haven't treated myself to a new camera in a while. And the last time I did like a full like review on a camera was probably like this video right here. So, yeah, your girl's a Sony girl. I'm currently filming on a Sony A5000. The other camera that I use is this one. This is the Sony something. It's like a little point and shoot with a flip up screen. Um, it's not the RX100. I can't remember what it's called. I'll put the name of it right here, but this is the one I did a whole review on. I actually really like this camera, but I don't use it that often, as often as I should. But this one that I'm filming on, the flip up screen is broken. I have beaten it up and literally <laughs> destroyed this camera. So yeah, I upgraded to this one. I went to Precision Camera in North Austin and picked up my new baby, which is the Sony A6400. I'm so stoked about this camera. Like I, I'm so stoked. And I low key like don't know what I look like because the flip up screen's broken, so I'm just hoping this video goes well. Anyways, we're gonna, we're gonna unbox it together. This camera literally came out today as I'm recording, that's why I couldn't pick it up till this morning, but I pre-ordered it like last month. Like, I've been waiting a minute. Oh my god. So excited, oh my gosh, okay. This is the charger, there's the battery, more stuff, okay, oh, it comes with a strap, this camera did not come with a strap, the 50, 51, the 5000, it did not come with a strap, I don't think I have a camera strap, so I need that, oh my gosh, I'm so excited, okay, oh, so this camera was apparently like made for vlogging like that's what everyone's been saying like it is the perfect vlog camera so I'm so excited oh my gosh so this is her she's cute she's way bigger oh gosh I wish I could show you a comparison I'm gonna have to put in like some some video footage of some video footage duh video footage some iPhone footage of the comparison so let me just I'm filming right now. I don't I'm just using natural light, but you can see the size comparison of the 5100 versus the 6400. It is a lot larger. And I'm using my mirror to see myself. <laughs> That's how bad I needed a new camera. So, this flip-up screen isn't just like your normal flip-up screen. It like comes out and then around. I'm not really sure. I think I'm doing this wrong. Oh wait, yeah, okay, yeah, look. It's like a little L and then flips. You see that? But yeah, hmm, oh gosh, that's so, I'm gonna have to get used to that, that's confusing. Okay, so, I only have one Sony lens because I have this one, but I broke it. <laughs> yeah, this is the, what is this one? This is the 16 to 50 millimeter lens. This is like a standard, like, kit lens. This one's an 18 to 55 millimeter lens. So we are going to switch over to this camera, and we're going to switch over to it in three, two, what? This is me on the A6400 without messing with any of the settings. I actually just texted my brother because he's a camera wizard um, to help me set up the settings because there's so many more settings. This is not beginner friendly by any means. Not that I'm a beginner, but like, I like the 5100 because it's super simple. Whereas this one, he's texting right now, whereas this one's like super complex. So I'm gonna need some help. I'm gonna have to get used to this, but this is without really messing with any settings. I really like it. Um, Okay, so I thought I would sit us down, put us where we just were with the Sony A5000 and just kind of like put a side-by-side -side comparison of what I looked like versus this camera to this one. 
Um, the background is a lot more blurred, I think, in this setting, or in this setting, in this camera. But would it make sense because it's the same lens? Just playing around with it. Um, the color grading, I feel like I need to mess with a little bit versus this one. Um, I'm like looking at it on here. And I feel like I need to make this one a little more vibrant. But what do we think of the audio, you know? What is up guys, welcome back to my channel. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. There you go, there's a little comparison for us. Um, I am gonna get a mic for this and I'll do a little mic test for that too. Um, but yeah, we're just gonna go throughout our day, we're gonna vlog. Okay, wait, I'm back. I changed the creative style to vivid versus standard, I think it was one, and that's what I have this one on. So here's a better comparison of the similar settings I had on my 5000 to now after messing with the edits. So tell me what you guys think. I love this so much more on Vivid. Um, I did crank the exposure up a little bit to I think 1.3, which is similar to what I had on this camera. So let me know. Here's a comparison. I, I don't know. I'm loving it so far. This autofocus is crazy. That one was a little slower. But the autofocus is way better on this one. Like as I move around the frame when I'm popping up, it is a little slower, but that's okay. It is a lot better than this one. I do dearly, dearly love this camera. I'm gonna keep it and use it as my backup if I ever need it for anything. But um, yeah, 5,000 to the 6,400, I'm blown away. It is a lot bigger, it is heavier, but there's a lot more features on this one that this one didn't have. So I'm very, very, very excited to finally be able to have a microphone for when it's like windy outside. Like when I went to Chicago, it was so hard to vlog because it was so, so windy. So yeah. Okay. Let's stop sitting down. Let's stop rambling and let's, let's vlog. So you'll know how orange my kitchen gets. Like here's me vlogging in this awful low orange light kitchen. Um, but yeah, I vlog here a lot. Y'all know that. And I'm going to switch the exposure. But yeah, so far, so good. Um, but you know your girl loves her coffee and I vlog myself making coffee and making smoothies all the time in this area and montages galore. So we're gonna put the camera to the test, maybe test out the slow-mo a little bit and make coffee. Let, let's make some coffee. cardio workflow with some skinny syrups vanilla and some coconut milk creamer um but yeah that's like one of my typical go-to's y'all know that and still messing around with some lighting options this is like the weird overhead lighting that I don't like so yeah so far so good I need coffee and I have like a ton of dishes to do so I'm gonna do that right now we'll be back so I've come to realize I've probably picked the worst day to like test out this camera or maybe it's the best day. It's like super gloomy and like rainy outside and it's making like my apartment so orange. Like I need to get like daylight bulbs. I've heard that helps. So I just took these off the side of the camera like to hang the strap on because they were making this awful rattle noise in the back of the clip so I really really I'm sorry about that but they're off I could shake it well that's my tripod but I could shake and there's no there's no rattling it, it was these so I took them off okay so I'm sitting at my desk looking over the footage that I've already filmed with this camera and it actually looks awful but it's not the camera it's literally like the lighting of my apartment so I use a lot of natural lighting in my office and that's why the office clips looks so much better um, like right now because if you look in my kitchen, it's like an orange dungeon of awful lighting and Over here, you know, it's better. So um, Yeah, I'm gonna like do some outdoor clips We're gonna go run some errands and we're gonna go to work and take you guys along. So don't judge The camera just quite yet 
keep watching till the end and um yeah good morning hey <clears throat> the hair caught me on my best hair day trey's over here out here doing work making that breaky Ooh. we out here Ooh, here getting that bread oh there's bacon in there too mm. darn max <clears throat> you ready for breakfast Good morning guys, ew, <clears throat> so congested, I look bald, but there's a bun there, there's a bun. Um, happy Friday, uh, yeah, we're just making breakfast, figured I'd vlog today, because I was still trying to figure out the settings yesterday, and I want to give you, you know, a nice solid review. Trey and I are going to go run some errands, and you know, take the camera out and about, so I figured that'd be a good opportunity to really put the camera to the test, and so far, I'm liking this quality. Headed to Target because our coffee makers officially died. And Trey wants me to get copyrighted, so. Anyways. For one second? Yeah, oh, anyways, so we're going to get a coffee maker. Trey wants a boring one. We don't need. And I want a new Keurig or Ninja one. But Trey says no. I just found out how much my new camera was. How do you feel about it? Stupid. <laughs> Time to do some damage. Boom, best pretzels er. That's a big old Herbert's lemonade. Limonada. It's my homies, Vital Proteins. Jay and I love our popcorn. Did you get it? No, we Dang. have some. We do? Remember you bought the little where are they? Time to find oh, espresso. We should get an espresso maker. Well, this one's smaller because you talk about it's only good for not that long. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. That one is really cute. Four cups. Look, because you could do stinkle. Stinkle. <laughs> you could do single four ways. Mm. <coughs> Trey won't let me get a Keurig or a Ninja. Oh, look. Ninjito. This is the one I want, but Trey won't let me have it. It's on sale Best Buy for one thirty. okay? Mm. Dang, that one grinds and brews. So we oh, give me this one. Dang. Oh. Dang, let's get this one. Okay. <laughs> this is the one we have that just broke on us, so we're not getting that again. It was good for like 10 years. I guess it was. It was a hand-me-down from my parents. And then we used to have this one. And this one we had for a really long. This was a hand-me-down. We have that one? We had the older version of that. It was a hand-me-down from my parents. Yeah, but it was in that one. The one we had was, it, was the, it was the older version of this one. It was nice. The Flex Brew. And that one lasted like three, four years. Oh, look. Here's another Flex Brew. Oh, this one looks cute. 20 bucks? No, $150. Uh, okay. And then the little, these we, we'd go through so fast. Uh, okay, I guess let's get this one then. Wait, where is it? The $20 one that does, this one. The four ways to brew. What do you mean? You could just put the coffee in the filter and just pour hot water over it. <gasps> oh, that's cool. Super. Okay, this is the one we're gonna try out. Cause Trey won't let me get a new Keurig. Are you buying a new Keurig? No, okay, okay. I'm, I'm just kidding, this is actually nice. I just wanna make sure it comes with the filter that we need. Included. Full carafe, pour over, good. travel mug. I'm trying to look at the back, it shows you. Oh wait, basket, permanent filter. Bam. So, what was it? But is it in there? It says use with these. Oh. Decided, Trey and I need a house because I want that big white light. That one? Yes, but then that looks so cool. I like that. Which one? The black one? I like that one too. The light bulb. The light, just the light bulb. Trey, would you like some fake grass? Looks like weed grass. Mm. <laughs> weed grass shot. 
Wheat grass shot. <laughs> what do you put in here? Is this like a hamper? Oh my gosh, this stuff at Target, I'm dying. Oh my gosh, would you like a fake cactus? Oh, little bumblebees. <laughs> What'd you say? Is that Gucci? Oh my gosh, this Gucci pillow at Target. This is really cool. But these are even cooler. Whoa, this one's cool. Like, it looks like a little orb. <laughs> Whoa. These lights are so neat. Trey, you need those for your man cave. Trash. <laughs> Remember to grab your receipt, Trey. All right, let go. We just left this by. And your girl got a road mic. So we're gonna put this to the test. All right, we're about to test out the mic. Get it all set up. Uh, I gotta, yeah. So this is without the mic. And this is with the mic plugged in. What do we think? I mean, the only downfall is that I can't put the flip screen up. I'd have to buy one of those like L things. So, yeah. Overall, just from the audio of the camera, I really like it. Sorry, I'm laying on the edge of my bed. I'm kind of tired. Um, I don't know. I like it. I think the audio is a lot better. Um, we'll see once I put it into the computer what it really sounds like. All right, guys. I'm going to finish my review of the A6400 here. I genuinely really, really like this camera so far. Um, I'm still going to be playing with the settings and messing around with it because there's a lot to learn. But so far, so good. I'm going to mess with my setup and then I'll do like a final like vlog setup video. If that's something you want, let me know. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys. <laughs>